Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on to do a behind the scenes of a builder book. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Um, be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. So, hey guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned, I'm coming on to do a, a build a book, okay? So, behind the scenes of me putting together the uh, Supermarket Sweep um, book. This book is for Nakisha, so thank you for your order. And <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put your book together. So, Nakisha uh, requested uh, single-sided prints. And she didn't want them to be whole punch, so I would just be sending her the pages to the book, okay? And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and sticker the rest of these pages, okay? And we'll, uh, I'll do a walkthrough of what the, the challenges in the book, okay? So this is the Grocery uh, Supermarket Sweep DIY book, which is a standalone book on Etsy. But you can also add this um, three-kit DIY into your four-kit builder book, but it will count as three kits if you want this, and then you'll get an additional um, kit on top of this, okay, with an additional cover for the four-kit book if you want this book plus for the four-kit, okay? So there we go. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So like I said, this um, book has a total of um, 29 um, actual um, savings challenges. Um, 10 of the challenges are uh, full-page scratch-offs, okay? So um, this one here that I'm covering up, this one is the bonus um, Supermarket Sweep game. As you, you can buy all of my um, challenges or this book, the um, sections of the book over on um, Etsy as a digital download and put them together yourself or build your book over time, okay? Um, but like I said, you only get the uh, Supermarket Sweep game, which is the bonus game, if you buy all three parts for $30, all right? So that is what the book is really is, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, stick everything and then we'll talk about it. All right. So let's get this bread. Okay. Have your icons there. You're going to set your amounts for the different icons, roll and scratch and save that amount. So you got your uh, baguettes. Okay. Bagels. Okay. All different loaves of bread. We got wheat bread, white bread. All right. <laughs> Croissants. <laughs> so let's get this bread. So we're saving our money. All right. So um, the order of this book goes in the uh, actual order of our grocery store for the most part, all right? So that's what it's channeling, see each challenge, all right? All right, so the next um, one that I'm covering up is sauce, and this deals with um, your pasta sauces, condiments, and salad dressings. So whatever you um, scratch, that's what you're going to save for. So you'll set your different amount based on the uh, sauce type that you scratch, all right? And if you're noticing, I am using a variation of uh, three different types of scratch-off stickers. Like I said, you can purchase these off of Amazon. Silver, gold, these are $9.99 for the solid. Holographic, $15.99, one-inch scratch-off stickers, $15.99 on Amazon, all right? So if you buy digital downloads from my shop, you can. Uh, it's your choice to make these scratch offs or leave them as uh, rolling saves if you want to. If you don't want scratch off stickers, so it's up to you. If you do not want uh, scratch off stickers on your kit, if you order them from me, you you need to leave a note on Etsy letting me know that you don't want hole punch or you don't want stickers, okay? Because that's how they come. But I can send the pages just like this with or without scratch off stickers, okay? So it's up to you. All right, so here we go. Uh, spice match. So we have our different um, types of spices. So there are 15 different types of spices. So you're going to set your amount for each spice. And then once you actually uncover two of the same spices, you're going to save an amount for a pair of spices. So you make a spice match when you scratch two of the same spices. All right. <laughs> so that is the goal bit with this one. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. Breakfast basics. We have our... Um, breakfast items like pancakes, granola, protein bars, uh, granola, and oatmeal, okay? So you set your amounts for the different icons, roll, scratch, and save that amount. All right, soda or pop, okay? So this is the first soda, okay? So you're gonna set your amounts for the different four cans of soda, okay? If you land on a pop icon, you're going to double your next scratch, you know, because some, some places call soda 
um, soda, or they call it pop, okay? <laughs> so what do you call it? Get in the comments and let me know. I always ask that when I do these videos. Soda or pop? I call it soda from where I'm from in the Midwest in Missouri, but, <laughs> but y'all let me know. All right. All right, we got clean up on aisle nine. So we have standard uh, cleaning products. Okay, so you're just gonna, again, set your amounts for these um, icons, roll and save and scratch that amount. So we got our bleach, dishwashing detergent, floor cleaner, uh, toilet cleaner, okay? Laundry detergent, those type of things. So clean up on aisle nine. All right. All right, now we have High Deal. And like I said, this is the aisle in the grocery store that has those random items in it, okay? Like birthday uh, supplies, uh, school supplies, um, actual dishes and things, box dishes, um, cookware, okay? Foil pans. They might have some candles and other household type of decorations you could buy in toys, okay? So random stuff at the grocery store, but it's always lumped in the aisle together, okay? So you set your amounts with the different icons, roll and save that amount. All right, we got um, over-the-counter scratch-off. Okay, so this one here, um, this is for your over-the-counter med medications. So this you'll stop really get aspirin, Robitussin type stuff, um, muscle cream. Uh, Percocy test, thermometers, those type of things, okay? And then there are a few actual uh, prescription bottles here. So if you land on the actual prescription, you're going to uh, save an amount for that. If you land on the second prescription bottle, because that should be in the pharmacy and not at over-the-counter, you're going to double your next scratch, double all the icons, rather. And then once you land on the third one, you're going to triple all the icons, all right? So eight different icons to set amounts for to save. All right, let's see. All right, then our last two scratch-offs, we got uh, paper or plastic. Uh, you're going to set your amounts for your paper bags and the amount for your plastic bags, okay? And then if you land on the actual grocery cart, you're going to double your next scratch, all right? All right, and then our final one, how are you going to pay today? Check, cash, your card. And so you set your amounts for the varying ways to pay, roll, and scratch, and save that amount, all right? Although, like I said, a total of 10 full page scratch offs in the um, book, okay? All right, and then here's the back cover to the book. Okay, so now we can do an actual flip through of the book. Let me gather all the pages. And let's do a flip through of Miss Nikisha's book. Okay, so that is our beautiful front cover, okay? We have a saving tracker, all the games listed here. So as you play the games, you can have it off to the side and record your amount. I use, like I said, I play it by sections of the store because it's 29 games. So about 10 games at a time for the most part, okay? That's how I play it, all right? So, you, and then like I said, you have a bonus where you can write in uh, maybe new games or just if you need some, somewhere to record some information down here, okay? Um, here's your, this is the bonus supermarket sweep game. So you have the game board that has the varying um, items on here, okay? So you're gonna set your amounts for that you want the teams to save. And you're gonna, um, this is the time game that comes with its component. And so you're gonna start here, go around your, you have two minutes to go around your game board to uh, get as many grocery items as you can based on what you land on. You just cross off with using dry erase marker, okay? If you land on the corner spot, these are bonuses that you can collect, can collect like the frozen yogurt bonus, the ground coffee bonus, and the actual supermarket sweep bonus, which will be here that you'll scratch at the end of the game to add a different, another 50 to $150 to, towards your um, final tally, okay? So this can be the difference between you winning the game and not winning the game, guys, okay? <laughs> so, so that is that, okay? And like I said, you'll play this game three time depending on what you want to do you gotta play at least twice because you gotta compete against somebody but you'll set different amounts to save per team and whatever team gets the highest sweep total you're going to save that amount okay so that is the bonus item that comes with the um diy uh, build a book and the downloads over on etsy okay uh so not so separately you can only buy get it with the kids the full kit <laughs> okay uh savings tracker the um record how much you're saving and playing within your game uh Mini challenges is in the bag mini to prevent um, IOUs, okay? Fetch Fest, this is the, um, a shut the box 
for this kit. And so whenever you're going to do the 1 through 12, shut the box. Whatever items that you um, have left after you can't make any more combinations, you're going to save for those actual amounts. So if you have corn and uh, cabbage left, you're going to save the amounts you have set down here for corn and cabbage. Add those numbers together and save that amount. Okay. Uh, fruit roll-up is the race. You're going to take a few dice and try to get your fruit up to the top. So if we roll these two here, the numbers are in the fruit as well. We got four and five. So orange and um, blueberries will get a, um, a pass, okay? Make, make headway. Again, four and five. So they're both here, all right? <laughs> okay, we got three. We got a pair and then the blueberry has uh, taken the lead, okay? So that is how you do the fruit roll-up. So you're going to set your amounts to the, at the top of the fruits and whatever fruit gets to the top is going to... Uh, win the race as you're going to save that amount okay daily meetup this is our card game here you're going to um take the cards ace through eight so numbers one through eight basically and you're going to try to get all the items that you need for your charcuterie board so whatever um boards you fill out first you want to save your amount for that particular suit okay um, SWS Cafe, while you're at the store, of course, you don't want to go home and cook, so you're going to get you something to eat that you can eat out in the car or once you first get home, because after a whole long day of grocery shopping, you're not going to want to cook, so that's what this is for. You'll set your amounts for your different type of meats here, and then you got six different, set your amounts for your different size. You'll roll a four-sided dice that comes with your kit for your meat, and then you'll roll your two six-sided dice to see what two sides you get, and you can record the amount saved in these little things here. Foam containers, okay? So that is SWS Cafe. All right, baked. This is a roll and save, okay? So you're going to set your different amounts for the baked goods, okay? And then roll a 10-sided dice and um, roll as many times as you want to see what kind of bakery treats you're going to get and save that amount, okay? Let's get this bread. Again, a scratch off. You're going to set your amounts for your different icons, roll, scratch, and save that amount. All right, fresh meat. This is, um, you're going to get your meat order. So you're going to... From each shelf, you're going to use a six-sided dice to cross out on um, the numbers. Whatever one is the last one you're going to roll, it's going to be the first item that's in your meat order. So you'll do this four times. And whatever four items you end up with, so maybe you have four, three, five, six. Okay, four, three, five, six. You'll save for those varying meat items. and But you'll have to, you got to get all four. Okay, so that's that. All right, seafood catch of the day. You're going to roll for one dice for your catch of the day. You got five. Okay, you're going to, that's for uh, mussels. So the goal is to not roll the catch of the day. So once you roll your five, you want to avoid rolling five. So whatever amount you have set for these items, you're going to save. And then once your game stops, you're going to, once you roll a five, your game stops. So you're going to tally up whatever you save. So here we go. Oh, we rolled a five already. Let me try it again. <laughs> we got two for our catch of the day. So we don't want to roll a two. Let's see. We got five. We got mussels. Let's say that was a dollar, okay? We got a six crab legs, whatever that amount is. One, okay? We got a crab. Uh, we just rolled the lobster for the catch of the day, so we're done. So we're going to save the amounts for the crab, the mussels, and the crab legs, okay? Because we just rolled our catch of the day. So that's how that goes. All right, pantry, prep or pantry, okay? So it says set amounts to save for pantry staples for all these items here. So you got sugar. Oh, wait. Yeah, rice, pasta, coffee, flour, sugar, and oil. Set your amounts of those six items, okay? And then your goal is you're going to roll five, six dice. Whatever you don't roll, you're going to add to your pantry, guys, okay? So here we go. We got a six, we got a five, we got a two, and we got a one. So we didn't roll a three or a four. We're going to save the amounts we have for three and four and then color in those icons, okay? And add that to our pantry, all right? So that's how that goes. Let's go again. We got one, two, five. Okay, that time we didn't get a three, four, or five. So again, we're gonna get some coffee, flour, and oil, add that to our pantry, and we're gonna save the amounts we have set for those items, all right? For pepper pantry so we can stock up, all right? <laughs> all right, sauce. Um, you're gonna set your amounts to the different icons. As I mentioned, you have condiments, salad dressings, and different uh, varying pasta sauces. So whatever you scratch, you're gonna save that amount based on what you have set. Spice match. You got 15 different spices. You're going, for, you're going to set them out per spice. I'm doing a dollar for mine. And once I actually get a pair, I'm going to save $2. So when I match two black peppers, I'm going to save $2, okay? Getting canned. This is the, um, even an eye game, guys. So this side, you're going to set them out for the eye cans on this side. And then the even side, okay? So you're just going to roll any dice of your choosing and mark out your cans using your dry erase marker. We got a two. I'm going to mark out an even can. A three odd can, okay? One odd can. So you got to keep going down to you el eliminate all 12 cans on each side. 
or 10 cans, however many is over here. And then whatever side knocks there is off first, you're going to save for the amount you have set. So getting can, okay, cereal restock. This is a heads and tails game. You're going to use um, some coins, okay, to check the expiration dates of the cereal. If you um, flip ahead, the cereal is still good. If it's tails, expired. So you got 30 boxes to check. So I usually do three um, coins at a time, okay, to see if the cereal is expired or not. So you set your amount. You're only saving for the expired cereals. Breakfast basics. Set your amounts for your different breakfast uh, foods. Roll, scratch, and save that amount. Uh, sweet and salty, you're going to pick a size. Are you, are you team sweet or are you team salty? Okay, but you're going to put your um, amounts there. And then you're going to roll, you're going to set them out to say for all snacks. Uh, all the, the salty snacks are on shelves one through three. And then the sweet snacks are on shelves four through six or whatever. If you knock out all the sweet snacks, you're going to save your bonus amount first. If you knock out all the salty snacks first, shelves one, two, and three, you're going to save your bonus salty um, bonus, okay? So sweet and salty. Soda or pop. Set amounts that are different sodas. Land on a pop icon, double your next scratch. Household, and household supplies. Set amounts for your um, basic household supplies. This is a color and save. You're going to use the six-sided and the eight-sided dice that comes with your kit. Speaking of kit, you're going to get um, your little dice bundle here that comes with your uh, scratch-off tool and your um, dice bundle, which is very end dice. You get a 20-sided, I think 12-sided, 10-sided, 4-sided, and then two six-sided dice and the scratch-off tool for your book, okay? So I think I need a, what, I need an eight-sided dice still. <laughs> I ain't got one up here now, but most of the stuff, guys, I don't have one up here, but you're going to roll a six-sided die and eight-sided die. Let me see, hold on. No, I got one up here. All right, I'll get one later, but y'all know. <laughs> Go watch my video. <laughs> all right, so that's how you do it, but you're going to, wherever they intersect that guy, you're going to um, roll and save that amount, all right? Clean up on aisle nine. Set that amount to the various cleaning products. Roll and scratch and save that amount. So fresh up clean. Set your amounts for um, your shelves, okay? Display shelves. In, if you roll a number, you're going to use your 10 sided die. If you roll anything one through five, you can mark up any item on this side and save that amount you have set here. Roll the number six through 10. Um, scratch off any item or mark off any item on this side that you may need for your personal care items and save that amount. Okay. Hot deal. The random items at the grocery store. Set your amounts for the icons. Roll, scratch, and save that amount. Dairy dollars. This is a card pool game. You'll set your amounts for the different suits. Okay. So whatever you pull, you just mark off one item on the shelf. Once you clear a shelf, you'll set um, save the amount that you have set up here to clear your shelf. So maybe like three, three to five dollars extra once you clear all the items off the shelf. Okay, something like that for bonus savings, depending on what you want to do. Okay, uh, freezer frenzy. You're gonna roll um, six sided die for your row. One, two, three. We got one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cross off that pizza. If it's already crossed out when you roll it, you want to save your penalty amount and roll again to try to get an item that's not taken or marked off, okay? Freezer frenzy. Over the counter, you're going to uh, set your amounts for your over the counter medications. Once you land on the first prescription bottle, you'll save a certain amount. Land on the second prescription bottle, the icons will double. And the third uh, prescription bottle, your icons will triple. Prescription pickup, we're at the pharmacy now to pick up our actual prescription, all right? So uh, you have eight patients, and this is the, uh, you're gonna use the eight-sided die that comes with your kit. We roll to five. I'm gonna color in a pill on pack, patient number five's pill pack, okay? So whenever I color in all these, I'm gonna set them all for the same amount, maybe 50 cent or a dollar, okay? And then once all they're all colored in, I'm gonna save my bonus amount that I set here, okay? So whatever amount you wanna set for, once you complete a prescription for a patient, you wanna um, save that bonus amount. Okay, point of sale. These are the random items at the grocery store at the front by the counter, okay? So you're going to roll so, so you're not rolling any duplicates, okay? You can use a color die, too. I have it color-coded for you in case you have a color die at home, okay? But you're basically going to, going to roll until you, you can't roll a two again. So on the two, I'm going to get me some gum, and I'm going to keep rolling until I roll a two and get me items, okay? I got a six. I'm going to get some batteries off that shelf, okay? Five. I'm going to get some more. I'm going to get me an air freshener, okay? Six. I roll the duplicate, my game is over, okay? So you can't roll any duplicates. You got to roll one of each number and keep going, okay? So that's that. 
Okay, so check out, you're gonna use your 20 side and a 10 sided die that comes with your kit and the goal is to roll um, less than 20 points, okay? Cause you shouldn't be using a self checkout if you have more than 20 items guys, okay? So you're gonna set an amount for uh, 20 items or less and then a set an amount for t over 20 items. If you roll a perfect 20, you can do a no save. So here we go, 16, we can use the self checkout. We'll save our amount. 29, way too many items, out of order, okay? <laughs> 19, we just made the cutoff, but that is good, okay? Like that. 12, we can use it. Okay, 10, we doing good, all right? I, I agree with that, okay? And then paper or plastic, you're gonna set your amounts for your paper grocery bags and your plastic grocery bags. If you land on a grocery cart, you're gonna double your next scratch. And then finally, uh, check cash your car. You're gonna set your amounts for your different payment types, okay? Roll, scratch, and save that amount. And then you're back covered, okay? So that is that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and package this up really quickly, all right? So these, like I said, these are just the pages. So I have some, uh, I'm gonna do half of the book in one and then the other half in the second. Right, so that is the book for the most part, guys. So both parts, okay. And then I'm gonna bubble wrap this. Let's see. Do do do. Okay, so um, this is going to come with, so that's her book, Bubble Wrap, and it's going to come with uh, the um, dashboards, of course. She's a return customer, so she's going to get um, passing grade, and she's, she's ordered a few digital downloads as well. I'm going to send her nail to this well, guys, okay, as a freebie. All right, and then like I said, she's gonna get her dice bundle, her uh, stuff that comes with the shopping cart. I gotta make sure I got everything in there, but I'll fix it, okay? Get, get my eight-sided dice. Uh, placeholder, business card, thank you card, and some stickers, okay? And if she ordered, I need to check to see if she ordered accessories, but you know, if, you, if she ordered the um, additional accessory bundle that comes with the heat book, she'll get the poker chips, um, the uh, magic eraser, Sharpie, dice bundle and uh spinning wheel and all those other things that come with that but that is miss nakisha's um book the grocery diy book and this um item is available on Etsy if you're interested okay <laughs> uh, like i said it's available in a digital format where you can print it off and do it yourself the current uh wait time on books is about two to three weeks for processing time okay if you want me to do it but you can do it yourself if you want to okay but um Thank you, um, Nakisha, for your order. I really appreciate you, and I hope that you love your new item, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you thought about um, Nakisha's grocery book and the 
grocery book overall, the supermarket suite, because we love us <laughs> the supermarket sweeper, right? All right, so the next time you hear the beep, think of all the fun that you could have on supermarket sweep. All right, guys, see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your day. Bye.